and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here as always. So this morning I hit a thousand subscribers, which is just awesome. So thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed. We are going to get into today's video. Okay guys, so for today's video, we are going to be talking about the settings you will need to put on your serger or your overlocker to sew four-way stretch fabric or spandex. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I recently got myself an overlocker, which I'm very excited about. Um, and I was setting it up. I had to re-thread the whole thing, which was super fun. If you guys have ever threaded an overlocker, you know it is very difficult. Um, and then I was trying to find the settings I would need to sew a four-way stretch fabric. So I just wanted a YouTube video that would tell me exactly what settings I need to put my machine on just to get it started. And then I can play around with it from there to get the tension perfect. This video was nowhere to be found on the internet. So I had to play around with my overlocker for about two hours to get the tension right and get the settings perfect. So I thought if there's anyone out there that has just got themselves an overlocker or they're gonna start sewing with stretch fabric on their overlocker, I'm gonna make a video so that you guys don't have to play around with your serger or overlocker for two hours. So let's head over to the machine. I'll show you what settings I have mine on. Obviously all um, overlockers and sergers are different so you will need to play around with it but I just wanna give you the settings that you can get started with and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm sewing my spandex together. So the first thing I'm looking at is the knobs on the side. Um, if this all seems very overwhelming, that's okay. It was very overwhelming to me at first. So this is why I'm giving you guys like a place to start. So your stitch length is, I've got mine on about three, 3.5. Sometimes in your manual, it will give you a guide of what you can put your settings on for knits and stretch fabrics. So if your um, manual has something like that in it, that would be a good thing to look at. And then we have the differential feed and I have got this set on one. So for now, just start with those settings on there and then you can always play around with them if you need to change it. Okay, and then we're gonna be looking at these tension dials here. Sometimes you'll have these as knobs on the front, but the way that my machine is, these are just like some tension dials. So when you thread an overlocker, you thread it from right to left. So you have your lower looper thread, and then you have your upper looper thread, and then you have your right and left needle. So I have got my lower looper thread on, tension set setting is on five. Show you that a little bit closer. So my lower looper is on five, then my upper looper is on four, and then I have my right and left needles are both on about 3.5, so you can do between 3.5 and four for those ones. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a four-way stretch fabric and I'm gonna show you what it looks like going through the machine. So I've got two pieces here that I'm gonna sew together, because usually when I'm sewing my pattern pieces together, I've gotta to sew two together. Um, this also, these settings also work if you're just um, going around the edges of one piece of spandex. Okay, so this is what my stitches look like. So as you can see on the edge here, there's no loops hanging off there. So what you should have right on the edge there is a nice clean line. You don't have any loops that are loose or hanging off the edge. Um, they should be nice and tight to the edge there and that's exactly what it should look like. You should have two stitches on this side so you should be able to see your left and right needle. So you should have something that looks like this. You also need to be able to test because obviously we're sewing with stretch fabric. We need to be able to stretch that without these stitches breaking and then they hold a really nice shape when they are released. So as you can see here I'm stretching that and then they're still holding their shape really nicely but the threads aren't breaking. Another thing you want to check is that when you pull it on the other side, you don't have too much stitching showing through. So as you can see there, that's just the normal amount you would get even if you were sewing this with like a zigzag stitch. So you can see a little bit of stitching, but you want to be able to pull this without that coming apart. So you can see that that is a really nice strong hold. All right, guys, so that is it. So those are the settings that I have put my overlocker on. Obviously, if you have a different brand, it might be slightly different, but I just wanted to give you like a base starting point because I had absolutely no idea which dials to turn, what to do. So hopefully these ones will start working for you and then you can just make some small adjustments with your tension dials. If you did enjoy this video and you wanna see more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe down below. If you did find it useful, then please be sure to leave it a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.